So who is David Goggins? He's known as the toughest man on the planet. He's a Navy SEAL and the only person to ever complete three Navy SEAL Hell Weeks in one year. And he did it on broken feet. He's run over 60 ultra marathons, which is a race that's at least 30 miles. And the longest he's ever run is a 135 mile race. He also set the world record for pull-ups by doing 4,030 pull-ups in 17 hours. And to get into the military, he had to lose 106 pounds in less than three months. And I'm going to be using the daily routine he used to achieve this. So let's get started. So I just woke up. It's currently... 4.42. I woke up at 4.30, but absolutely exhausted. I can't remember the last time I woke up this early, so let's, uh, let's get this day started. If David Goggins wakes up at this time, so do we. And now it's time for breakfast. One single banana for breakfast. I have no idea why he picked a banana for breakfast, but um, he did. So... I don't know if it was this uh, bruised up, the one he used to eat, but this is how bruised up ours is. I can't remember the last time I ate a banana, honestly. I just brushed my teeth, so the banana doesn't taste fantastic, but it doesn't taste terrible either. So I'm going to finish this up, and then I'm going to move on to our first task of the day. Look at how dark it is outside right now. It's pretty much, it's pretty much still nighttime. It looks like it's the middle of the night right now like it is absolutely hitch dark outside so we made it to the gym and for some reason i don't know why uh i just didn't expect it to be this bright like i walked in and it is so bright in here which is good because it helps you you know feel more awake and like helps you wake up but i mean like i have i don't know if it was just me or like it's just like very bright in here. Maybe it's just as bright as it is right now as it is like during the day, but because it's so early, I just, I, I honestly didn't expect it. Then again, it would be weird to, uh, for the gym to be uh, darker at this time, right? So I think I'm just uh, losing my mind off, off of the uh, zero sleep I got. So as you can see, now we're on, on the exercise bike. So David Goggins would do an hour of this pretty much like right after waking up. So. We're going to do the exercise bike for an hour and he used the exercise bike a lot because he was very, very, very overweight. So if he would have just started running right off the bat, I mean, he would have just wrecked his knees. So let's get right into it. We just finished the workout and look, the sun is already rising. Pretty crazy. It uh, feels like you walk in at nighttime and then you kind of leave during the daylight. So I will say that is... Uh, one of the best parts about going so early. I'll have the recap at the end of the day too so you can see how many calories I burn um, in total because uh, it gets pretty crazy. I feel like right now this was um, a warm up to what is to come. Something crazy to think about too is that David Goggins kept this routine up for 85 days. There's a reason he's known as the toughest man on the planet. And we're finally back home. Um, I went to the gym and then when I got home, I realized I'd forgotten my phone. So I had to drive back to pick it back up. So turns out my brain is definitely a little tired still. So next up is David Goggins will study for the ASVAB test, which is pretty much a test that he would take to qualify for the military because at the time, he was trying to get into the military. Instead of studying for the ASVAB test that I don't plan on taking, I'm gonna read instead. Next on the agenda, I am shirtless because we are about to do a two hour swim. Yes, so can't remember the last time I went for a swim, um, let alone for two hours straight. So apparently David Goggins would do this every morning. Let's see how these fit. <laughs> They're a little tight, honestly, not gonna lie. <laughs> I think my eyes are touching the front of it. Much better. I'm not gonna lie, guys, this is uh, not the warmest day of the year. This is, uh, it's definitely not very warm outside. It's currently in like the 60s, and here is the pool. I will be going back and forth in for two hours so uh, <laughs> uh now for the moment of truth let's see <sighs> 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 
Oh, oh, this, this, uh, this isn't the warmest pool I've ever hopped into. Oh, I don't know why I waited. I don't know why I didn't do this in the summer. Oh, it's nice and crispy right now. So, um, let's get these laps started and, uh, let's not waste any more time. We are roughly an hour and 15 minutes in, so more than halfway in. And as you can see, I am, it is a little cold. So at the beginning, it was pretty cold and then you just start to warm up. But after a while, it just starts to get cold again. Um, so I am currently shivering right now, but we cannot complain because we're supposed to be David Goggins right now, and David Goggins does not complain. So, part of this out two-hour swim is David Goggins would swim two miles or two hours. So, we're gonna see. We're gonna swim until we hit one of those first. Let's go. Oh, and that marks the end of the swim. I mean, by the end of the swim, since the pool was still pretty cold, even though it may not look like it, like my fingers were like literally going numb. And now we've just arrived to the gym for the hardest workout of the day. Of course, David Goggins doesn't do any normal workout. So it's a full body workout. And for every exercise, we do five to 600 reps. So I'm gonna pick four exercises and I'm gonna do five sets of 100 reps each. It's clear that like his theory was pretty much just do as much exercise as I possibly can to lose as much weight as I can. Let's get in the gym and let's get started. So we're gonna be starting with some dumbbell shoulder press and I have absolutely no idea what weight I should use for 100 reps. So we're gonna do five sets of 100 reps each of this. So I, uh, I just grabbed 10 pounds. I have a feeling for uh, 100 reps is gonna be a bit heavy. So let's see how it feels. Ooh. The first like 50 reps are a joke. And then like, once you hit like 75 reps, it really starts to burn only <laughs> 400 reps more to go of this. So. so we are starting to fail like five, six times during the set. So we brought the weight down to 7.5, <laughs> which feels like a joke. So let's see how many we can do. I mean, the pump is definitely real. I was able to do the 100 reps with uh, no rest. So I'm gonna stick with the 7.5s for shoulder press, but yeah, I got one more set of these, so let's finish off strong. And I mean, shoulders are already pumping. All right, now we have some dumbbell bicep curls. So I picked up the 7.5s and once again, gonna do five sets of 100 reps each. So let's get it going. First set complete. Now 400 more reps to go, already uh, definitely pumping. That first set wasn't too bad, but I have a feeling the next four aren't going to be that easy. And now on to lat pull downs. Let's see how this one feels. Once again, 100 reps. I have a feeling my grip is going to give out before my back does. The first set, I think the weight was pretty solid. I have a feeling that my grip is just going to give out by the end of this, just because it's so many reps, it's not even that heavy, it's just so many reps, so stay tuned, let's see. Oh, that was the hardest set so far. I'm just doing a lot more isolated workouts, so I'll only feel like an arm pump or a chest pump, but now since we're doing kind of like the whole upper body, my shoulders are a little pumped, biceps are pumped, Back is pumped. Not too bad, not too bad. This is the most humbling shit ever because I can't remember the last time I was failing with 
10 pounds on the bar. And so now I moved it down to five pounds. Let's see uh, if we can get hit 100 straight. I tried for 100 straight of 10 pounds on each side. And I had to, it was just, I had to rest like five, six times. So let's, uh, let's see how many we can do. If you wanna put your ego in check, try to do a wait for 100 reps. Let's go. That is it for the second set. One of the most humbling things I've ever done in my entire life. But now we have three more left and probably gonna drop the weight because I keep failing. So let's keep it going. Last one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Feels crazy out here doing the just the bar for uh, bench press. Can't get over how humbling it is, but finished that, and that marks the end of today's workout. That is 2,000 sets complete. Pretty unreal. My entire upper body is pumped, like my back, my arms, shoulders, definitely my chest. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it is absolutely pumped. Just your typical uh, full body workout by uh, David Goggins. During that entire time, I was just listening to Dave Goggins in my ears, so. I was fired up. Been back to my house for a little, and then now we're right back at it at the gym. Now we have to do a two hour bike ride. David Goggins definitely loved his bike riding during this period because he was trying to lose a lot of weight. So he was still really, really overweight. So he couldn't run all that much. He just stuck to the bikes. That's what we're about to do for two hours. So let's head inside. Just finished the two hour bike ride right now. It says I burned 984 calories. The amount of calories that I'm burning today is gonna be greater than when I try to do the 10,000 calorie challenge. That's just absolutely insane. I mean, you can definitely tell why David Goggins lost so much weight. It was working out as much as he humanly could and then it was eating as little as he possibly could. He was in the biggest calorie de deficit known to man. Now that we just finished this, we're gonna go directly into a two mile run he would do after his bike ride. So let's get right into that. This is perfect timing because there is an NFL game going on right now. So I'm just gonna be watching that through this entire run. That is a wrap for the two mile run. I'm very happy we uh, got that out of the way. So now that we finish this, let's head home. See what David Goggins has in store for us next. Now we're gonna have the only real meal that David Goggins had an entire day. All we've had is the banana for breakfast and then this meal. And that's all he ate during these 85 days where he was dropping 106 pounds. So this is what he had. He had meat with rice, as you can see right here, looks delicious. And he also had veggies. So we are going to down this as fast as possible because we still have one workout left to go. Finishing up right now. And that marks the end of the only real meal we're gonna have today. So now let's head on over to the gym to find out what the last and final workout is. Welcome back to the gym, ladies and gentlemen. So now we have the final workout, as I said, which is gonna be another two hour bike ride. So I can't stress this enough. He absolutely loved his bike ride. So this is gonna be a two hour bike ride to finish off the day's workouts. So that officially marks the ending of this two hour bike ride. It says I burned 830 calories, so I feel completely, completely drained. I mean, if I walked into this gym while it was still dark outside and I'm leaving, while it's dark, so it only feels right that if you're doing a David Goggins daily routine, this is exactly how it would go about. Now, 
let's tally up all the measurements, see how many calories I burned in total today, and do a little recap of the day. So as a recap of yesterday, it says I burned a total of 6,000 calories. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, by the end of the day, I was completely exhausted and I definitely slept in. So thank you guys for watching and let me know what routine you guys want me to try next.